Hello everyone, welcome to Student's Guide. I'm back again with yet another informative video. Today I'll be talking about statement of purpose and will be giving you guidelines on how to write a statement of purpose. Let's begin. Um, statement of purpose or SOP is a detailed description of you, your future goals in association with your reasons to study in Australia. Immigration will read your statement of purpose and double check the points that you've mentioned with the evidences that you give them. Let me now break down the important points for you. Point number one is your personal detail and reason for studying in Australia. So the points that I mention you, please make sure to include um, while writing the statement of purpose. Point number two is why have you chosen Australia? Point number three, why not Nepal? Point number four, what's the reason behind choosing a particular university and not others? Point number five, mention the address of the college. How easy is it to reach? Does the area have good transport facilities? Point number six, give detail and thorough information about your chosen course, like what are the aim of the course, what subjects are taught, how many credit points do you have to complete, what skills do you get when you graduate. Point number seven, upon your completion of the course, what will you do when you return to Nepal or if you're from any other country? You will need to mention the position you want to work in, name some organization you want to work in, mention the salary that you'll be expecting, and etc. Uh, point number eight, you'll have to mention about the visa you're applying for. Point number nine, what are the conditions of the visa? And lastly, point number 10, mention the yearly living expenses. Now, when you're about to write a SOP, don't beat around the bush. Be straightforward and to the point. On the first paragraph, you'll need to mention about yourself um, and your family details. If you're married, then you'll need to mention about your spouse and in-laws detail as well. On second paragraph, you'll need to mention about your sponsor. If your father, father-in-law or husband um, will be your sponsor for your education, then you'll need to clearly illustrate their profession and yearly income. The yearly income you mention on SOP should be genuine um, and strong enough to support your education in Australia. Third paragraph should be about your academic background in detail. You should clearly mention the grade that you managed to score on your every academic milestone, including the year you graduated. Moreover, mention about your IELTS score and the future course that you'll be undertaking. On the fourth paragraph, if you have any other work experiences, then you can mention it in detail, including the roles and responsibilities you took on. On fifth paragraph, link the course you chose with your previous academic history and provide reason on choosing the particular course. It's good to compare the fee structure and the courses of different countries as well, like US, Canada and others with Australia. You'll have to have solid points to prove that Australia is the best country for you to pursue your further education. On sixth paragraph, do the thorough research on the course that you'll be pursuing and mention the point number six, as I've mentioned above. Seventh paragraph is all about point number seven and last paragraph is about point number eight, nine and ten. If you think it's a lot of paragraphs, then feel free to modify your paragraph, but make sure your SOP has to be thorough and to the point. Make sure not to exclude any of the points that I've mentioned above. Make sure to incorporate all the points that I've mentioned to you. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you have any question queries, you can leave on the comment section down below. I hope this video will come handy and helpful for you. Thank you for watching.